Hello. I haven't like seen you guys in so long because my last video was, you know, a music video. If you saw my Valentine's Day, get ready with me. And I got my hair in a bun, you know, a little spunky, a little different. Wanted to try something new. I wore this in an outfit yesterday and I really liked it. So, excuse these little baby hairs. Today I decided to do a Q&A. One, because I'm kind of out of video ideas. And two, because I just wanted to talk and have us all kind of get to know each other more, you know? Because that's what Q&As are for. So I asked you to comment questions on YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter, but nobody ever tweets me questions. So most of them are off YouTube and Instagram. And this is just going to be a chill one-on-one -on -one time. You can get in your leggings, like myself. I'm probably out of focus now. And grab yourself some herbal tea, some ice cream, popcorn. Let's jump into it. We're gonna do YouTube questions first. YouTube, where are you? Oh, the first question I see right now is from Far Above Rubies, and they ask, "What is your favorite video on your channel?" I actually frequently go and rewatch my old videos. I don't know if I'm the only person who does this. I actually have a couple favorites. My Florida Outfit of the Week video, I really liked how I made that, and it's like when I first wanted to start editing more. Oh, I like my Living Fall to the Fullest video a lot because I feel like it's more of like an original idea and. It was just a really fun, positive time. Um, not a lot of people have seen that, so if you want to see that video, I will link it down below. There's so many that I really enjoyed filming. Oh, I really love my outfit videos, so my back-to-school outfits, my after-school snack ideas. I don't know. I like a lot of videos that I made. Brianna Michaela asks, would you rather lose 1,000 subs or not be able to post a video for two years? I hate it when people ask me questions like these because they're so hard. You work so hard for your subscribers, but also, like, if you're not going to be able to talk, just, like, why? I don't know because I love all my subscribers so much. I'm sorry, I can't answer this girl. Beauty by Bria asks, what motivates you to do your videos? Probably just, like, watching other YouTubers, seeing them express themselves and their creativity. I don't know, just whenever I feel like spreading positive vibes. Oh, and putting on music while setting up my camera equipment really helps. Beauty and Laughs in Sydney asks, what is your favorite clothing stores? I feel like I'm like bouncing my hair. I have a ton of favorite clothing stores and all of my clothing is kind of just like scattered. Like if I like something and it's good quality, I'll just buy it. But recently I've been like leaning more towards these stores. So Hollister, American Eagle, I actually love everything at Hollister. Forever 21, has a lot of good stuff. Paxson, Brandy Melville, basically. TJ Maxx, because they always have super good prices. Oh, this shirt is actually from TJ Maxx, so. <laughs> this is Beauty Grace XOXO. Um, this is Beauty Grace XO. I can't say it that fast. She wrote a really cute little message. I love you too. And she wants to know, do you prefer Converse's or Vans? Honestly, Converse's, I've never really been a Vans person. I love my white Converse's. They're like my go-to shoes. Mandy with two Y's underscore 101 asks, what is your favorite quote? I have a lot of favorite quotes. As you can see behind me, okay. I just almost messed up my full words. But I have like a lot of quotes and Bible verses behind me. I like to write them down. Love life and life will love you back is good. Great things take time. That's my current like Twitter banner. No one is you and that is your power. I think that's like such a cool quote because it just makes you feel like good about yourself because there's nobody else like you. Oh, Abraham Lincoln. It sounds weird that it's from Abraham Lincoln, but he said, and in the end, it's not the years in your life that count, it's the life in your years. And I recently discovered that quote, and I just think it's like a really good quote, just to make the most out of life. MJ Serve E asks, if you could go anywhere in the world on vacation, where would you go? I really want to go to Spain and... Bora Bora because I've just seen like pictures and I think it looks really fun. There's a lot of places where I really want to go to like somewhere with mountains and I also want to visit California. I don't know, it's just like the land of YouTubers to be honest. And it just seems like a lot of cute little shops. Can you touch your nose with your tongue? 
Now I'm going to try because I look gross and I already know I can't. I've never been able to, girl. Those are all the YouTube questions. I might be forgetting some. Now to move on with the Instagram questions, or more commonly known as Instagram. I posted two pictures, actually. Kenny Kook, I probably pronounced your last name wrong, asks, what do you want to do when you're older? Do you want to become a full-time YouTuber or get a more normal job? That's a hard question because I really love YouTube. But I do want to like have that work experience. I would probably like still do YouTube but have like a side job if that makes sense. I think full time YouTube to me is once a week. So I'm going to try to like start getting more dedicated to that. I'll probably just do like both to answer your question. So thank you for asking it. Morgan Parsons asks favorite hobby besides YouTube and my favorite family tradition. I have a lot of things I like doing but probably piano or I just like sing for fun all the time and I also really like baking and photography. <laughs> my favorite family tradition. Hmm, we don't really have a lot of traditions. That sounds really boring but we don't really do a lot of things that are out of the ordinary. Probably that would just like go to the mall a lot and take trips to the mall and I think that's fun. Melody asks if you could change your hair color, what color would it be? I I don't think I would ever dye my hair as of right now because like your roots always show through. But I would probably get either like highlights or like the pastel-y like color. Like I really like pastel purple and like lilac. Kind of like Claudia Sulzowski. I don't know if you but if you saw like her lavender hair on the ends, I kind of like that and I think that would be really cool. She also asks, favorite color to paint your nails? I really like painting my nails white because I feel like it goes with everything and just like pastel colors like mint green, light purple, and just kind of colors like that. Ashley Taylor 33 asks, do you care what people think about you? To an extent. Blurry face and I care what you think. I like to feel liked by people but I don't like really base my happiness off of people like me or not like if they do that's awesome but if they don't like what can you do you know <laughs> she also asks how do you handle stress that's a really good question because my next video is actually on dealing with stress and anxiety I really like just reading Bible verses and just getting positive vibes somehow. Listening to music always like distracts me from stress. 366 Angelica asks favorite vacation spot and your favorite name for a boy and a girl. My favorite vacation spot is kind of basic, but it's probably Florida because I went down there last year as you guys know. It was just really fun. If you've ever been to Clearwater Beach, I really liked going there. And also, New York is really fun to go to and I want to go there again. My favorite girl name, oh, that's hard because I like a lot of names. Probably Rachel or Emma. I've always liked that name, Emma. And yeah, I can't really think of any other ones, but I know I have some more. My favorite boy name is probably, I don't think about this a lot, I guess Matthew. It's kind of basic, but it just sounds really chill. Sarah Gibson asks, are you an overthinker? Unfortunately, I am. I overthink and overanalyze a lot of things, but I'm trying to like work on that this year. And she also commented filter, so I'm assuming she wants to know what filter I used for the picture I posted. And recently I've been going for a pink theme. If you want to how I edit my Instagram pictures, let me know. And I'll just like tell you really quickly. I just like select the picture, usually with something like white that can have a pink tint to it. And then I put a little bit of HB2 on it and then I go to the highlight tint and put on the magenta color. So that's basically what I do. I really like Visco. Like I said, let me know if you want to see that type of video. I think that would actually be kind of fun. Beauty by Kayla 21 asks, what grade are you in? P.S. I love you. Thanks girl, love you too. I'm in 8th grade actually. My birthday was like super close to the date that like school starts, but it's in October, not September. If that makes sense. Mandy underscore 101 asks, what is your skincare routine? Illy Sum. Love you too. Thanks, girl. I feel so appreciated when people say that. My skincare routine is like super simple. Oh, that's actually the face wash I use. How ironic. I just wash my face with the simple foaming face wash. And I also really like the St. Ives Apricot Cleanser. So I wash my face morning and night. I occasionally put on Neutrogena Moisturizer. 
And um, if I get like a pimple that won't go away, I use this clean and clear rapid gel spot. Rapid clear. I'll just insert it right here. I don't know the full name, but I use a spot gel. And also I like to drink a ton of water because that seems to really clear up my face. The China Anderson asks, you have to eat one food for the rest of your life. What do you choose? That would be kind of like not good because I like a whole bunch of different types of food. Probably just like vegetables because it's like really good for your body, but then that would get old. Bread. I honestly love bread. So I'd have to say bread, probably. Sarah Gibson asks, where do you want to live when you grow up? I don't know. I really like New York, so I think that would be really fun to live in New York. Nurbisha asks, favorite show? And she put a cute little sushi emoji. <laughs> My favorite show right now? Gosh, I have so many. I've been really into Friends lately. I also love Parks and Recreation and Gilmore Girls. Gilmore Girls is one of like my all-time favorite shows. Also, Full House is coming back with Fuller House, so we'll see how that goes. I'm really excited about that. Megan O.L. asks, what's your favorite Lush bath bomb? That's a really good question. I love all the bath bombs I've tried so far because they all smell so good. The pink one, the basic little pink one. Just like this apple-y one, that's a white. I'm actually about to try one tonight, I think. I just got a new one. The KG Style asks, what are three of your current life goals that you are working on and what is your favorite makeup brand? Three of my current life goals are to, like I said, like stop stressing out so much and overthinking things because I tend to do that. Snapchat says hi. If you don't follow me on Snapchat, it's all things Chris 10. That's super funny if you're watching behind the scenes right now on my Snapchat and you're also watching this video because my camera keeps dying out on me and I'm vlogging it. <laughs> But back to the question, one of my life goals is to, like I said, stop overthinking things. Another one of my life goals is to probably just, like, make more friends and be more, like, well-rounded with people. So, to grow into a closer relationship with God and just grow stronger with my faith, you know? <laughs> so, I really like a lot of makeup brands. Most of the products I use are from the drugstore just because, like, they're so inexpensive. Probably Maybelline and... NYX. I've only tried one Benefit product, but I feel like I really like that company still. And Urban Decay is also super good. Are those all the questions? I think those are all the questions. Oh! One last question I forgot to answer was on YouTube, and it's from Abby's Beauty Co. And she wants to know what my favorite accessory is. My favorite accessory is probably rings. Oh man, all of mine are in my room dish and they're so far away. I really like wearing rings because they just make me feel like so like productive and artsy. I don't know. And I just feel like they look really cute. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and thank you to everybody who asked questions. I have a candle burning right now and I feel happy because it was my fall candle. And it's just giving me relaxed vibes. But if you want to see more Q&As from me, or what I like to call them, Q and Yays, definitely let me know by liking this video and, of course, commenting below because I think they're super fun. If you're new here, I would love it if you subscribed. I don't know, I think it would be really cool if we reached 2K this year because I haven't set a subscriber goal. Have I ever set a subscriber goal? So I really hope you enjoyed watching this and I loved, like, just engaging and talking. All of my social media accounts are down in the description box below. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!